Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is the frequencies of the dominant allele A and recessive allele A are 0.6 and 0.4 respectively in a particular plant population. After many generations of random mating, the population goes through one cycle of self-fertilization. What is expected frequency of the heterozygotes in the progeny of the self-fertilized plants? In order to solve this problem, all we have to know is just Hardy-Weinberg formula, where frequencies of three genotypes that can be produced if we have in gene pool two alleles would equal to P squared plus two P Q plus Q squared, and all this would equal to one. And for the P squared stand genotype, which is homozygous dominant, for 2PQ stand a genotype that is heterozygous and Q squared stand genotype that is homozygous recessive. We know all the frequencies of the dominant allele A and recessive allele A. In our formula for the dominant allele we have P and for the recessive allele we have Q. And these two alleles would make 100% of the alleles in this gene pool. Again, dominant allele and recessive allele. And if you know the frequency of the dominant allele, which is A or P, 0 0.6, and recessive allele 0 0.4, we just can use these numbers, put in this formula, and we can find frequencies of the genotypes before self-fertilization. So let's do it. For example, P squared is basically we have to multiply frequency of the dominant allele by itself or 0 0.6 squared. Frequency of the homozygous dominant genotype would be 0 0.6 multiplied by 0 0.6. So frequency is going to be 0 0.36. As for the uh, homozygous recessive genotype frequency is going to be 0 0.4 multiplied by itself. So frequency of this genotype would be 0 0.16 or 16%. And 0 0.36 here means 36%. If we add the three frequencies, we should get one or 100%. So here in the middle, frequency of the heterozygous genotype is going to be uh, 0 0.48. So now, when we add all these three numbers, we are going to get one. We got frequencies of the three genotypes. Now, next step, we have to find what is going to be a frequency of the three genotypes, let me underline with different color, uh, in next generation after self-fertilization. Take a look what's going to happen. So for example, if we self-fertilize homozygous dominant plants, that means that we have to uh, cross with itself. So we cross plants that is homozygous dominant with plants that is also homozygous dominant. And what is going to happen? 100% of the progeny are going to be homozygous dominant. And what is going to happen if we self-fertilize plants that is going to be homozygous recessive? Picture is going to be similar. So if we take plants of the same genotype and would self-cross or self-pollinate or self-fertilize, again, 100% of the progeny are going to be homozygous recessive. We can use this frequency here, 0 0.36 and 0 0.16. But now take a look what's going to happen uh, if we self-fertilize plants that is going to be heterozygous. 
capital A small a, we cross with the same genotype, which is capital A small a. And take a look what's going to happen. So we are going to have capital A, capital A here, capital A, small a here, capital A, small a here, and small a, small a here. As you see, after just one round of self-fertilization of the heterozygous genotype in the next generation, so if we would say that this is parental generation and this is going to be F1 generation, in F1 generation we are going to get only half the number of the frequency of the heterozygotes uh, if we compare with uh, parental generation of the heterozygotes. If here the frequency were uh, 0.48 or 48 percent, here we are going to get only half of this number and another half would be homozygous dominant genotype and homozygous recessive genotype. Uh, new frequency here is going to be not 0 0.48, but instead it's going to be 0 0.24. One quarter of the difference between 0 0.24 and 0 0.48, so one quarter would be dominant genotype, so we have to add here. So it's going to be 12, 0 0.12, so plus 0 0.12 here, and plus 0 0.12 here, so plus 0 0.12 here. So new frequency of the homozygous recessive genotype is going to be 0 0.28, and here new frequency is going to be 0 0.48, so here's the frequencies, 24%, 48%, and 28%. Let's calculate, we should get one if we add all these frequencies. Or in other words, we should get 100%, 0 0.48 or 48%, plus 24 is going to be 72, plus 28 is going to be 100. In F1 generation, after one round of self-fertilization, this is going to be new frequencies of the three genotypes. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.